Hey there, and welcome to the first video for MBA 610, Humboldt State University's Research Methods course, part of the MBA in Strategic Sustainability. We're using Cam Cochran Fry at All's Business Analytics text, the third edition. And this video is going with um, what is in section 2.3 that's modif called Modifying Data in Excel. And what we're going to be working on today is sorting and filtering data in Excel. The two other things in this section, conditional formatting of data in Excel, well, and a bonus, which is creating new variables and calculating percentages, are going to be in the next video. So I just want to start by explaining this data and then showing you Excel's functions that will allow you to sort data and filter based on characteristics of interest. When looking at a data set, this one here, I've got a funny little thing that I have to do first. I need my data centered. So you'll see me do that in all of my data sets. Lots of people don't like it that way. You know, be your own person in this regard, but this is how I want to have it. So look at this data and we have a variety of variables, right? Rank on based on sales, the manufacturer of the car, the model, and then how many cars were sold in March of 2011 and how many cars were sold in March 2010. In our columns are our variables. In the rows are our observations, right? In row nine is that first car, the Honda Accord, which had the highest sales in March 2011. Down here in row 25 is the 17th most popular car, which was the Nissan Versa, which sold 11,000 cars in March of 2011. So we are already sorted here by sales. We can sort this in a different way. Let's say, for instance, that we want to take this data and sort on some other variable, like maybe sales from March 2010. What I need to do is highlight the data that I want to sort. And then I go here to this data tab. And under the data tab, I look for the sort option. I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, it'll look similar. You might have to pause while you find what you're looking for, but the idea is the same. And you go to sort. What I know right now is that I want to sort by sales in March 2010. So I go to column and I go to sales of March 2010 and I'm going to sort on values. That means it's going to sort by the number and then from smallest to largest. I'm going to swap that because I want the highest sellers to be on top. So I'm going to change that order to largest to smallest. You may be panicking right now because rather than sales in the column, you have A, B, C, D, and E. If that's the case, take a look for something that says my list has headers and click on that. And that will change it from the column name or to the letter and back and forth. And if you click OK, here we go. Now we're sorted with the items that sold the most in March 2010 on top rather than that of 2011. You can see that it jumbles these numbers, but that's okay. One thing that you, if you don't already know this about Excel, if you hold down Command Z or Control Z, that will undo what you've done. So I hit Command Z and now I'm back to where I started. Another thing that we can do is filter. Say we're only interested in Toyotas or you're only interested in Hondas. We can get Excel to show us only those things. So we highlight our data. Then still under this data tab, we go to filter. And when we click on filter, an arrow shows up next to the name of each variable. We're going to hit filter. You know, I'm just going to hit it back and forth. You can see those areas, arrows come and go. And what we want is to filter by manufacturer. So I'm going to click on manufacturer. This box is going to come up and I'm going to want to sort, I'm going to want to see only Toyotas. So to do that, I'm going to unselect the select all button and I'm going to click on Toyota and there we go. We can see only Toyotas. When we're in this view, I want you to notice a couple of things. Um, first is that the amount of data that we have was, it just was totally reduced, right? And you can easily get confused and think that you lost all your data, right? It's happened to me. 
there's a couple of things I want you to keep your eye out for. First is looking here at the left, you can see that the numbers are blue instead of black. And you can also see that the line separating the numbers is thick and green and that the numbers no longer are in order sequentially. All right, that just means, well, they're in order sequentially, but we're missing some. That's just Excel's way of telling you, hey, I hid something. Those are hidden rows. Then you see these arrows and you say, aha, we've filtered our data. And then you can look by the one that has, see a manufacturer? The icon is different than in the other ones. That tells you that this data is filtered by manufacturer. If you want to return it to where it was, you click on the filter and you clear the filter and everything returns to how it was. So I encourage you to play with that. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy calculating.